Hello, I'm uh, Jerry Lewis. I'm a bird ringer with the British Trust for Ornithology and I've been uh, interested in hawfinch for about the last 20, 25 years, I suppose. Um, currently volunteering as well with the uh, Forest of Forest project. So hawfinch are a woodland species, uh, predominantly broadleaf, but they will go into mixed woodland as well. And the, the Forest of Dean and Wye Valley is probably one of the best sites in the country for them now because it's declined in some other areas. So hawfinch is the biggest finch we've got in this country, but it is quite elusive, mainly because they spend their time up in the treetops. So if anybody wants to try to see one, the best time to go is when there aren't any leaves on the trees. And then what you're looking for is something that's right in the treetops, big chunky head and a short tail. So far through the Forest's Forest Birds project, we have planted over 7,800 hawfinch friendly trees, species including hornbeam, beech, witch elm, rowan, cherry and a few others, all of which produce a high amount of seed. Witch elm is particularly important as it seeds in spring and this is the time of year when the hawfinch is usually lacking in food. We have also supplementary fed black sunflower seeds at hawfinch hotspots across the Forest of Dean. This not only provides some extra food for them, but allows Jerry to catch and ring the birds to help monitor their populations and movements, to also identify individuals and learn more about their behaviour, and for us to be able to manage habitat better for them and their needs. All finch are difficult to catch because they like to spend most of their time up in the treetops. They do everything up there. They, they feed on the seeds that are in the treetop. They take water off the leaves that are up in the treetop and they don't like to come down to the ground. But in the late winter, early spring, when all the seeds have been blown off the trees, they've got to come down to the ground to feed. And that's the only time of the year, really, that you can catch them. It's just nice and bright around the head, and sort of orange on the head. And the secondary feathers have got that purple gloss to them, whereas in females that'll be grey and you age it by looking at the, the ends of these primary feathers here and you see there's little nicks in the end of them that look a bit like high heels. And the older they get, the better these high heels develop. And the tail feathers are quite flat-ended, whereas in last year's birds they'd be very rounded. So this is older than last year's bird.